God is goddamn fucking right! <laughs> Alan Rickson is our goddamn Batman. Yeah, I'm thinking. Well, let's pump the brakes a bit. Speaking to Bro Bible's post credits podcast ahead of the release of his new film, Ordinary Angels, Rickson indicated that being mentioned as a potential Batman is a real honor and privilege because Batman was one of the first characters that he fell in love with. Hell yeah. I mean, who doesn't love the Batman? The fact that people are interested in me playing Batman is a real honor and privilege. It's one of the first characters I fell in love with as a child. I still remember the big, long pistol coming out. Pause. Out of Joker's pants as he goes to shoot down the bat plane. Pause, bro. Rickson told Bro Bible's podcast, um, those iconic moments really resonated with me as a child. For there to even be a conversation or a rumor mill surrounding this role for me, all I can do is laugh. I just think it's wild that that's, that's you know, that that's where we are, he said. I mean, like I said, I think Rickson obviously is built like a shit house. I mean, the, the, the guy is massive. He took all the rocks, hormone, gorilla steroids and injected it into his veins. And now he's big as a house. And I think he's a good actor. I think he has really underrated comedic timing. Uh, that subtle dry humor that's that's used so well in Reacher, his show. And I think he would be a, a perfect mix for it. But that's just me. Rickson then expressed some doubt that he'd be the right choice because he's perhaps too old, to which we responded by reminding him that the DCU version of Batman needs to be old enough to have a preteen or teenaged son in Damian Wayne who takes up the mantle of Robin, which is true. Who knows what they have planned for the franchise? If they want to go much younger and tell these origin stories, sounds like that's kind of Rickson continued. He's kind of got to be old enough to have a kid. We we interjected. Not going to let you sneak out like that. Okay, then, you know, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. It's one of the coolest characters of all time, Rickson responded. So there you go. Listen, I think, uh, I said this before, Alan Rickson, he's not on my, you know, on my number one list to play Batman. Uh, I really don't have a number one actor in mind to play the Batman. Everyone, you know, pick fan choosy fan chooses either Jensen Ackles or Alan Rickson or, or some other casting. Um, but I think, shut the fuck up. Stop hunking. God damn. I wish your car fucking blows up. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. I'm not going to fucking edit this. But yeah, I think Alan Rickson would be a a perfect choice to play Batman, especially like this kind of Batman. Because like I said, you need, you need an actor alongside David Cornsweet who can have that same presence and size because David Cornsweet looks gigantic and, D and David Cornsweet is also six foot four. I think Alan Rickson is a little bit shorter. I think I think Alan Rickson is about six two. Still, like the, the guy is large, pause. But uh, he's, he's a good actor. And I think, um, and he's not... He's not too famous where people recognize him instantly. He's he's still he's like almost on that brink. He just needs that one role to just, you know, shoot him up into uh, superstardom. And I think Batman would be just the role for him. Now, do I think he's going to get it? I mean, who knows? But uh, I would not be mad at it if he was. So there you go. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok. This is Jazz Cheeks. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Alan Rickson? Do you think he has a shot of playing the DCU Batman? His name is being brought up a lot. And I don't know if he's had meetings with James Gunn. He could be playing Coy. He could be lying out of his, out of his ass. He, he could be Batman right now for all we know. He, he just signed a, uh, an NDA. But who knows? Crazier things have happened. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth out.